let's start out this video by talking about where we don't want to go. If you look to the left of the screen, you can see me passing by the left side of the hole at the bottom of Upset Rapid. I should probably correct myself. Most people don't want to go there. We can get a better look at it from somebody who did want to go there. By the time you get to Upset, there's not a lot of rapids left and sometimes you just want to run a hole. Not counting the ledge hole in lava, of course, and uh, depending on flow, the hole in crystal, the hole at the bottom of Upset is about the closest thing to a sure flip that I know of in the canyon. Alright, we're going to have a one-two punch here. There's one, and two! So let's spend the rest of our time talking about how not to go there. This is an awesome book. You don't want to use it as your only guide if this is the first time you're rowing the canyon. It's from 1980. But it is a great book and it's got great drawings. Here's the drawing for Upset Rapid. And the author has the two main routes marked well. Most of the guidebooks and people you talk to tell you to try and break that lateral at the top left of the rapid. At lower water, the lateral really does get big. The last few times I've hit it have been below 9,000 CFS, once as low as 5,500, and it really surfs you back to the middle of the river at that level. So on a 2015 winter solo trip, I really wanted to be sure I didn't end up in that hole. So I decided to try a run from the right side of the tongue with the goal of pushing left just below this lateral. I really found it was a lot easier to stay to the left. There's some small laterals pushing you, but not nearly as large as this one at the top. As you can see, there's a lot of fun stuff over here on the left side, just so long as you stay left of that hole at the bottom. Oh yeah, and if the water's low, don't forget this little rock right on the bottom left. <laughs> 